So today on Try This at Home marks quite likely the biggest project that we've ever undertaken. Um, this is going to be a multi-part series. Uh, there have been some debates, and I can understand that, about how I did my uh, external antenna mod. People are saying that uh, using just a twisted pair wire or two individual wires for the signal in the ground coming off the circuit board uh, will not work. I happen to disagree. I know that it, for a fact, will work because I've done it and I've used it and proven that, at least to myself, it makes a significant difference. It is not the best way to do it. It is not the ideal way to do it. And it is not how I would do it knowing what I have learned in the time period from when I made that video until now. What we're going to do, we've got five wireless routers here. Five wireless routers all just cheap little Belkin routers, but here's what the insides of them look like. Now, if you look in here, it's pretty much exactly the same setup. Two antennas, both 2.4 gigahertz, and both solder on um, things, solder on terminals. So, in the various parts of the video, we're going to do a baseline test to see where the stock routers, and we're going to test all five to make sure they all have approximately the same output power because these are not capable of running in any kind of aftermarket firmware. They're just very, very cheap, basic routers. So this will be a test purely of antenna gain. So can you take, you know, a $30 router, whatever these cost when they were new, and put antennas on it? and triple the um, range. The other part is going to be how much difference is it really going to make if you do it the right way versus the wrong way. So what's going to happen, each of these routers has um, a various uh, fate in store for it. One will remain completely stock after our initial test. That one will be our control. We'll have one router which will be modified with commercial antenna kit. Our second one is going to have pretty much the same exact thing except we're going to be using these. Much larger, much higher power. I believe these are 10 or 12 decibel gain antennas. So we're going to be trying these um, with our proper wire modification to see if the larger antennas actually make um, that big of a difference. And our third router will be done with a proper coax wire, the way that I would do it now, to a homemade biquad. So this is all going to be stuff basically, um, as you'll see in that portion, this is stuff that could be scrounged from components, boards that you have lying around. We're going to salvage some solder on F connectors from an old uh, TV board, and we're going to salvage a bunch of different stuff to use and modify this router for literally nothing. Uh, final router will be done with just two bare wires. Just regular old, um, I'm going to use a twisted pair Ethernet wire, just some um, normal Cat5, and see how big of a difference drop there is there.